Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's K-I-M in the S-A-V, Kim out of Savannah, Georgia. And guys, in this video on um, Facebook, because it originally began as a Facebook Live. So if you're watching on YouTube, just know that if by chance, um, you know, people jump on and I shout them out, that is who I'm talking to, not myself. But um, I titled it something on Facebook, like I've recruited 89 people just by doing videos, dot, 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 but... Okay, I don't know what it'll be called on YouTube, but, um, oh, and by the way, if you're watching live, please put where you are watching from down below, and if you're a replay viewer, put replay and where you're watching from down below. I would greatly appreciate that. So, guys, here's the deal. I have been in this industry of MLM network marketing for quite some time now. I started around, I think it was like 2000. Um, 13 ish, so to speak. Hello, Monica, Bigger, Samuel. Thanks for joining. But it was around like 2013 or so, um, officially. Okay. And in my first company, I mean, I was a diehard MLM. I can't even see say skeptic it was more like critic i thought everything was a scam um didn't believe in it at all i was like that's really just for lazy people and losers i'm just being honest with you i was like people need to go to school and get their degree and and you know what life had to teach me the hard way because i did what i thought everybody else should do i went and got not only one but two degrees uh um bachelor's in journalism with a minor in spanish and a um mba with a concentration in finance and guys <clears throat> it took me being a grown rusty married woman with tons of student loans that I had to take out in order to get those two degrees and struggling for five years to have a kid only to have a kid and not be able to spend any time with the kid that I prayed for for me to be humble okay for me to say you know what maybe the way that I thought was the way is definitely not the way um and so I humbled myself and I got into this profession and I just, I just knew I've lived a good life. I'm good to people. I'm, I'm a nice person. I am deserving of success. A lot of people say they, they love me. They like me. They respect me. But, um, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> if you really want to find out how much influence or how much people respect you, join MLM, join network marketing and see how many people will follow you see how many people will believe in you and want to lock arms with you that's how you really tell who respects you like on a business level because there's one thing for people to respect you as a human being but it's another thing whole entirely different thing for people to respect you on a business level okay so imagine my surprise when in my first company i recruited like no one for forever <laughs> Like a very very long time it was embarrassing it was hurtful because some people that I thought would join me wanted nothing to do with what I was doing hey Katina Clinton and um it was an eye-opener it was a reality shock so I said you know and I and I had been told when I joined hey Roderick what's going on brother I had been told when I first got into this profession that the people that you know will not be the ones to join you but I didn't believe him I was like not that's not going to be the case for me Mm -mm. People love me. People like me. People know me. People, honey. <laughs> so I finally got my first recruit. It was my aunt. Thankful for that. And then I happened to get another recruit. Um, and she said, I'm going to tear this thing up. I'm going to tear this thing up. And she had built a big team in another company. And it was so surreal the way it happened. Everything was looking good. I went from being the only person at the meeting to them being like having a row full of people. And I was like, I'm about to be rich. <laughs> and then they all quit. <laughs> hey, Natasha, Nicole. And, and then I was back at square one. It was emotionally draining to have come from nothing to feeling like this is it. This is what they talked about to be back at nothing. You know how they say, you know, it's, they don't know which one is better, whether you, whether you, which one is worse, never having been in love or falling in love and then losing it, right? And I totally get that because once you experience something and you get that high from it, when you lose it, it's like, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 how can this be? So anyway, I say that to say this, in my first company, I did not have much success. 
at all. And it's okay because I have a great leader. Don't regret it at all. Still have nothing bad to say about that company. But I had a fabulous leader. And he said, I remember one of the meetings, he said, you know, this company may not be where you hit it big. This might be your training ground for you to go someplace else and hit it big. And y'all, he is wise for that very reason because that's that's how it worked out for me now you still have to put the work in but in that first company y'all i had zero influence pretty much zero recruits they say the average person recruits like one and a half person i don't know where they get the half from but that's what they say okay so you know i guess all in all i did better than the average person but to come to this company now and y'all i just looked in my back office i had two new people join and these are personal recruits that i'm talking about i had two new people join my team this week very excited about them we're um rocking and rolling getting some things uh done i'm going to speak to one of them after this training because they were at a party and so um I love the new additions. I love the team that I have right now. A lot of y'all saw pictures of all of us in New York together. The Better Body Builders is what I call them. And um, it's just a trip because a lot of people will tell you you have to do all these like conniving things, these scheming things. Like you have to trick people and tell them that you're having dinner and then invite them over to your house and then pull out a whiteboard and then say, look, get two, get two, get two, get two, get two, get two, get two. And that's how that's how you build your team. A lot of people will tell you to emotionally blackmail your family members or friends and basically say, well, if you don't join me, then that means you don't support me. That means you don't love me. And I, you do not have to do that, guys. Please don't do that give everybody has the right to their own journey their own path in life you do not have to do that i i have not done that all like 89 people that's how many i have recruited i don't think with the with the exception of one and that's candy with the exception of one i didn't ask those people to join me they all just called and many of them never even talked to me i just looked in my back office and they popped up and it's all from me doing videos i lie to you not um the majority of my team i've never met before but we have a strong bond because well now um we have a strong bond because i i'm, I'm in contact with them if they want to be in contact with me there are some people that join my team they don't want to be bothered they just want to basically like get their products put them on auto ship and get the benefits of being a distributor without actually building a business i respect that i'm not going to be all up in their face like are you coming to a convention are you going to be at the meeting um you don't want to uh you don't you don't do what what you don't want to set your family financially free you don't want to break generational curses no baby i let people do what they want to do and you know what's so surprising when i came into this company there were so many big leaders so many like things i remember going to the meetings and the rooms were so packed that it was like a club okay and i was like i am a little fish in this big pond how am i going to make this pop for me but guys let me tell you something you're not going to be able to see everything that's in your future you just have to have a vision for what you desire and i and i said i said it in 2015 i don't know how it's going to happen <laughs> lisa lee she said lol i was tricked like i was tricked like that in the past well they tried shaking my head yeah and they tried because that's all they knew how to do but i'm telling you guys that if you are thinking and that you have to be sneaky and you have to be conniving to get people to join you in this business you do not i promise you that all 89 people that joined me i i did not yeah i don't think i knew oh no 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 i knew y'all i lied to you now out of 89 people i promise you 80 of them i did not know okay and the majority of those people never spoke to me before they joined okay they never spoke to me before they joined. They just up and joined my team and was like, I watch your videos all the time and I, I want to be a part of what you're doing. Now, here is why, and, and I know some of you are jumping on to say, oh my gosh, she, she recruited 89 people because um, y'all see me. I don't do home parties. I don't go to every single event. I don't stress myself about, I, I don't hang out in groups and stalk Facebook, stalk people. I actually, believe it or not, I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook. Half the time when you see me, on Facebook, I have posted to Facebook from an outside platform, and you guys see I spend a lot of time with my son. Why? Because I got into this profession for time freedom, so I'll be that blame Nelly if I'm going to let my business drive me crazy. If you have a business that is driving you crazy, it is because you have designed it to be that way. You have not leveraged the platforms that are there.
there for you to buy back your time. I got into this business to buy back my time. So doggone it, that's what I'm going to do. Hey, what's going on, my girlie Stephanie Wilson? How are you? What are my better body VIPs? And I also got into this business to learn how to become the best version of myself. See, it's not hard to recruit when you work more on you than you work on the business. You got to work more on you than you do the business. And as you just get on and share with people what you are learning and then then what you are earning will grow. And that by default will attract people to you. Not just people that you bring into the business, but also people like Stephanie Wilson, the perfect customer. You got to be clear on who it is you want to serve. When it is cl- when you are clear on who you want to serve, you will attract those people to you. And the business will become so much more enjoyable for you. It will be, People will love giving you money. You will love taking their money okay and as you love taking their money and they love giving you money then you you, you'll have that um vibe that frequency to where it just looks like oh you just make it look so easy and you're like well it's not as bad as you're making it okay okay it's it's clarity clarity is power y'all and then when you get in that what we call like in the flow right to where things just seem to happen for you so effortlessly that that right there is what attracts people to you. Not you saying, I'm looking for five people. I'm looking for five people. Nobody cares what you are looking for. And it does not matter what you're looking for if nobody's looking for you. Okay? It doesn't matter. Um, so just understand this. Now, here is, I, w- I want to be super duper clear on this with the whole 89 number. Have all those people stayed? No. Is that a reflection of me? Partially. Mm, partially so am I proud that I recruited 89 people by basically doing nothing but documenting my day consistently yes and no on one hand that's a very very large number on the second hand I I'm not so concerned right now about how many people I recruit as I am about how many people I retain and how many people I get to replicate what it is that will lead them to the success that they desire I don't care anything about bringing people into business. I care about people having success in the business. I want a bunch of J babies. I want a bunch of Candy Bees. I want a bunch of Lisa Lees. I want a bunch of Jackie Powells. I want people to 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 grow with me. I want people to earn with me. I want people to learn with me. I want people to say I am glad I joined the business with her. And I'm telling you guys, people that are considering doing this profession they want that for themselves but i'm gonna i'm gonna tell y'all right now be very careful who you join with make sure that where you are in your stage in life and the help that you need that person will be able to provide because i'm gonna tell y'all we came from the conference in new york last weekend and this happens every time i go to conference i'm i'm just gonna be real with you i inevitably have people come up to me and say i wish i had joined your team count I wish I had joined your team. And there's not much I can do. There's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing they can do about that. A lot of times, because a lot of times people like, y'all might see 89 and say, oh, that's a big number for personal recruits. But guys, it doesn't matter how many I've personally recruited. It only matters how many I've retained. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. When I first started in the game and people started joining me, I was like, listen, if they want it, they better get it. They better get it like I'm getting it. So, I mean, I was not rude. I was not purposefully mean. I was just very immature in my MLM development. How about that? And so when people would come in, I wouldn't take the time to train them. I wouldn't want to hear their excuses of what's going on in their lives. I, got, I was like, I got stuff going on too. It was never an issue. There was never a rude conversation had, but I'm just telling you, I did not understand what it meant to lead somebody. And I wasn't trying to understand. I was like, I got my own stuff going on. (laughs) So in any war, there are casualties of war. Y'all understand this. When you get in this game, when you get when you get in this profession, your first few recruits, it's like your first child. Right. I'm the oldest of six. Okay, there's some things that my parents did with me. (laughs) I was the training baby. Right. (laughs) Right. 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 Your first lover, right? There's some things you do with your first lover. You'd be like, what was I thinking, right? So it's the same thing with your business. There are some recruits that I, I and, and if you're watching, watching this and you, um, whatever, like no one will say that I was mean to them. But if you ever felt like I didn't give you attention or I didn't reach out to you. And um, now I don't think that you should chase people, but I'll say this. It was a learning. Those first few recruits definitely were 
<laughs> people to learn what to do and what not to do with and with time. Like there are some people that have been a part of my team now for some years. Lisa Lee has been um, a part of my team since 2015 and she'll tell you I'm a different Kimberly now than I was back then and that's the way it should be. But a lot of you are still getting caught up in people posting these big numbers. I have a team of 10,000, I have a team of 20,000, I have a team of this, I have a team of that. And y'all are joining people that have a team of thousands not thinking about the fact that you will be lost in the shuffle oftentimes. It is a trip, and I'm not saying this about every leader. Let's be clear on that. And I'm not saying that those leaders are wrong when they don't call you back. I think that you are wrong. If you join somebody that you saw on Instagram and you see that they flying here, there, every do, everywhere, every single day, you really have to evaluate your expectation of that leader taking your phone call. You have to evaluate, what, what was I thinking? to think that they were going to come to my little city and do a home party. They, they, they may or they may not. But what I'm saying is some of the things that I hear people saying as it relates, like they've never been in the profession before they, uh, and they need a lot more handholding than what a big leader can provide, but they see the big leader, they like the flashiness and they join thinking they're going to get something that that person, that person is past that level in their business of basically reaching out to you until you get to a certain level until you prove yourself because let's be real there's only so many hours in a day so if that leader has a team of thousands how can they reach out to thousands they cannot right so your expectation was unrealistic of that leader now you got an attitude now you're mad now you're trying to go to other people to get them to train you even though you joined with someone else and now you say this profession that that it is a scam. It doesn't work. People are just about self. They don't help nobody. No, 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 baby. You didn't do your research. You have to. And it's so funny because I see leaders in places in other companies right now saying, I got this many people. We recruited this many people. We recruited this many people. Oh, last week we recruited this many people. This week we recruited that many people. Who gives a flippity flop? Tell me in a month from now, two months from now, three months from now, how many of those people are having the success that they came there to, 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 to uh, acquire? Right? How many are seeing the results that they desire? Tell me how many people you retain, baby. Don't tell me how many people you recruit. And so, yes, I show off because people were talking to me about that. And, and I, it warmed my heart when I went to New York. And people were like, Jay baby Jay baby Jay baby Y'all, Jay baby is 51 years old. She joined me last year on her 50th birthday and told me, I don't know how I'm going to be at this because I'm not good with technology. And now this half for cutting Facebook. She, my girl, Jay baby cut a hula hoop Facebook live. She got clients calling her, literally saying verbatim, Jay baby I thank God for you for introducing me to this company, for holding me up accountable for helping me to get healthier this is my girl okay who doubted herself last year and she looked me in my face with tears in her eyes telling me my son is proud of me Kim because of what I'm doing in, in this business my son is my biggest supporter that's what I care about I could care less about 50 11 million people joining me I like two at a time because I only have so much time to bring you up to speed to where you need to be it's got to be a partnership though this is a dance baby okay so it's me and you, you step, I step, you step, I step, you step, I step. And I had to learn that the hard way because before I was like, hey, thanks for joining. Let's, you know, go over there and do what you got to do. I'm going to be over here doing what I, I, I got to do and I'll see you. <laughs> and now I have much more of a communal feel. So the 89 number of recruiting is good, but now I'm in and, and y'all know I know how to retail. See, I had, I had to develop my business in, in stages. I said, I'm not going to recruit. I'm not going to recruit people if I can't tell them how to retail. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to recruit people if I can't tell them how to retail. Because if I already know that the majority of people cannot recruit, how the heck are these people going to make money until they become recruiters? Until they build influence income? How are they going to do it? Okay, they need to do it by retailing. Okay, so... My people need to know how to retail. I can't tell anybody how to retail if I'm not retailing. I can't tell anybody to do something that I'm not doing. That's the other thing y'all are doing. Y'all are joining people that are not doing what they want you to do. And then you mad. What you think you are? You think you master? You think I'm a slave? You think, no, 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 baby. Don't get mad at that person that you picked. You picked them. You knew they were doing three, four, five businesses at the same time. You knew that they weren't really in this to win this. You knew that they had no results. You knew that they didn't have 
anybody singing their praises. Y'all, literally, I have people coming to me. They join somebody that they thought was a leader, but they didn't do their research. They just looked at how many likes, how many shares, how many comments that have, that person had on social media, but they didn't pay attention to what we call context clues, right? <laughs> context clues. And this is why I show off my team. I'm not intimidated by anybody because I think we all have a light. We all have something that we can contribute to somebody else. And we all have a different voice. There are people that love me. There are people that hate me. It's all good. There are people that I love and there are people that I don't love so much <laughs> but there's room for everybody y'all there's room for everybody but you have to do your work stop being so enamored by these big numbers that people post and dig a little deeper okay i show off my team i do interviews with my team and people know candy b because candy b has been rocking with me for a while we we, we, we used to go in walmart together and do what everybody hates to do go up and down the aisles of walmart excuse me you look like a nice person <laughs> good old days right candy b but i show off my team i celebrate my team because i want people to know that you know i don't win unless you win that's really how network marketing is set up y'all it's not a scam the people who make the most money are the people who help those make the most money for the longest periods of time please 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 do not get caught up in people that come in and and have like these explosive launches and and they they, hit, they have a, a good run a good 30-day run a good 90-day run no 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 look at the long run look at over time look at who is who, who who do you see with their team who do you see posting about the the big wins and the small wins who do you see celebrating people if you know you're at a point where hey i need a change in my life i don't know how to make that change i want to lock arms and i'm going to give this profession that everybody's calling a scam a chance please make sure a large part of your success is you but a large part of your success also, I will tell you this and I, I'll stand by it, is it's who you're attached to. So make sure that you are attaching your horse to the right buggy. All right. Let me see what y'all talking about, because y'all got some good comments and y'all. Somebody says, say it. <laughs> hey, Shakira, retailing. We all retail. And like I said, I did my business in pockets. I, I didn't come in and say, oh, because this is what they tell you, y'all. Two, get two, get two, get two, get two, get two, two, get two. And what do they say? In a year, you have one thousand six hundred ninety two people. and You'll be rich. And you'll be like, oh, the next question is, what island do I buy? <laughs> what island do I buy? <laughs> which mansion should I select hmm. in one year that's it baby. and then they got these stupid stands like stick and stand you'll get your pay no you won't stick and stay and what no you have to stick and stay work every day then you'll get your pay then you'll get your pay right but guys you got to stop being so enamored by people talking about I'm a master recruiter yeah Okay, but are you a master sponsor? There's one. See, do y'all know, like, when you think of sponsor, I want you to think of um, Alcoholics Anonymous, right? A sponsor is someone who has your back. A sponsor is someone who, who you can call when you're like, you know what, I feel like quitting. And they say, hold on, let's talk about this. A see, a recruiter just puts you in the business. That's a recruiter. But a sponsor is someone who assumes the responsibility for helping you to achieve what it is you, your butt said you wanted to, to do. Now, you don't always like them, right? A lot of times my team is pissed at me. <laughs> I think they call me Kimberly Prestivity behind my back. <laughs> but they come around, you know, they know I don't be worrying about it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm do, always doing it out of love. I, I, you will quit on you before I quit on you. You will. You will quit on you before I I quit on you, and I can't make anybody do anything. But um, okay, Marlon, Marlon Troy Hurd, he was from my first company. He said, right, that's why I love how our products um, are free, easier to help in retail. Yeah, 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 that is true, Marlon. But you know, free can go either way because I'm, I'm a firm believer in he who pays pays attention. But my company has free samples as well, and it definitely makes it easier for people to get into the marketplace if they have a strategy. But I know people who give away products for free. I, let me tell you this, Marlon. I know people who give away products for free. The um. The, pro the prospect loves the, the free product and then they come to me to buy. <laughs> so again, if you don't attach yourself to somebody who knows what um, they are doing so they can show you. And, and I do things like 
guys, I, 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 I will dissect the conversation. I don't just say, go get them, team. Now I go in my WhatsApp group with my, with my um, group. And I love, I love the people who have trusted me to help them become the highest versions of themselves. I love the fact that they are all so dynamic in their personalities, but the moral fabric is still the same. J-Baby is very nurturing. Candy is an alpha female like me. But, you know, they all contribute different things to the group. And when I bring in new recruits like uh, Rose recently joined and, you know, we, we welcome people and we say, hey, if you need anything, it's a place where everybody is stretching for hire. Right. And it's a place where if I fall asleep, um, which y'all know, I love to sleep. But if I sleep in, nobody's business stops because Kim is supposed to be my sponsor and she asleep. No, 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 no. The better bodybuilders got my back and I got theirs all day, every day. So now the vibe is so much better on my team because I became a better person. And then I instilled that in them. I empower them to make their own mistakes too. If they ask for my criticism, then I'll give it to them. But I also let them do their own. This is, this is their business. If they have an idea, I don't shoot them down or anything like that. And what I've seen is that I've, I've you know, done that. Uh, you know, I, I hate the upline downline thing because we're all even. Okay, just like you saw us in that picture in New York, we all will walk. You know, I'm not the Beyonce of the group. <laughs> Nobody is the Beyonce of the group. But I love the fact that, you know, as I've grown, I've definitely gotten better. I, I did things the right way with integrity. I'm not asking nobody to do what, 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 what I'm not doing, what I haven't done. And since I retail my butt off, I can tell my team with authority, with credibility, look, let, hey, what did tell me your last interaction if you want my help i'll give it to you okay what if you had said this what if you had done that and they can go mm, i see what you and i love that we have that one-on-one -on -one, um, um interaction i love that they trusted me instead of going with somebody else who they could never have that type of conversation with i want y'all to think about this because this is a profession that changed my life my son is over there Y'all see him? My son. Ooh, ooh, where my finger at? Ooh, okay. That's Eho right there. <laughs> That's Eho right there. My son is over there. If he is not visiting his father, he's with me all of the time. And I, I'm able to spend so much time with him. And it's so important to me because he's changing every day. He's changing every day. And there's going to come a time when he's not going to be up underneath me, giving me hugs and kisses, and he's going to be doing his own thing. I cherish these moments, and I'm so... I am very grateful that I have this time with him. Very. Especially when he and I both need it the most. So, you know... I had to eat crow, <laughs> you know, with all the things that I said in the past about this profession. Um, this profession is like any other profession. There are people that do it right and there are people that do it wrong. And your experience is going to be largely determined by, um, you know, who you surround yourself with. So um, I just wanted to let me finish these comments right quick and get myself together. It just is hurtful to me because in the last uh, few weeks, I've had so many women come to me and um, I can tell they want to give this a try, but they don't believe in themselves and they've been burned before and there are so many things that are stopping them. And I just wanted to jump on and say, you know, don't be caught up in the shiny objects of what other people are dangling before you like. Our team are growing. You better jump on this train. And I know I said something about jumping on the train earlier this week, so that's ironic. <laughs> but I'm just telling y'all, don't pay attention so much to how many people a person is recruiting. Pay attention to how many people a person is retaining and how much time a person is investing in their team. And that person's moral fabric, if it doesn't match with yours, be beware before you join them. Okay, and I can get much deeper into this, but I won't right now because I've already been on for a while. Let me, like I said, let me read these comments. Um, uh, oh, y'all are agreeing with me. I appreciate y'all for jumping on and no it's late. <laughs> Show me the money, that what they like and they want. I should have read these in real time. So, yep, I had someone um, 
do that to me went and joined a quote-unquote leader yeah and it's, it's so ironic um leah was on hey girly miss you the ones with staying power say it louder for those in the back come on with it honeys <laughs> y'all are funny see y'all my people y'all my people and this is why some people say kim you look like you're having so much fun i am having so much fun because i only talk to people who want me to talk to them i only talk to people that i like talking to my clients have become my friends and again all of this is strictly from videos so if you guys are thinking well i can't do that because i don't know people i don't know the majority of i have over a thousand clients y'all over a thousand clients and 89 people that i've personally respond, sponsored since 2015 and that's seriously without me going and saying hey do you want to join my business now i'm not saying that you shouldn't do that and i probably would have way more people if i had done that but y'all if y'all know all the hell i've been through since i started business i didn't even have time to ask people if they want to join my team i just come on the camera as much as i can and, and document my day that's all i do i bring y'all on the inside the good the bad the ugly everything in between and, and those of you who have liked me like what i had to say some of you have bought from me. Other of you have locked arms with me. I'm appreciative to everyone um, because some people are a lesson. Others are a blessing. And therefore, there is there is no failure in anything. There's only feedback. Um, Michelle said, we need to stop being groupies. Starstruck. Girl. Ooh. Okay, Michelle. I, I said I need to end this. And you getting me started again. Y'all, that's the other thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's the other thing. Let me tell y'all a story right quick. Um relationship y'all yep give it away and they will come back to you must build a relationship with your team unity and your team yes and i love that my team is um like we're sisters I, I, I would love some brothers on the team but right now we're sisters but we're not um like 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 michelle said we're not groupies i remember my first company like when i joined like there would be girls and they were so oh the leader like one time a leader went to the bathroom and there were literally mem like her team stood outside the bathroom for her i said what in the single white female is going on here <laughs> that, that i'm not about that life and you have to learn in this profession y'all and, and, and my team knows it too like um sometimes they'll say certain things to me and i'll be like you have the same you, you what you just said to me i could easily say about you so step into your greatness. Like, I love it that people say certain things that are complimentary toward me, but I, I want to do what um, David and Monique did for me. I want to bring out the greatness of other people. I want them to see themselves the way that God sees them. I want them to see what is buried deep inside of them and what has been suppressed and suffocated by society, by negative past spouses, neg abusive uh, parents or um frenemies in their lives i want them to see what was already what, what was always there right i want them to see that and um mm, it's a lot i can say about that but but i'm happy that i don't have no single white females on on my team that when i go to the bathroom they went we right here kim i'd be like hell for why <laughs> can i do my deed in peace <laughs> go ahead now you know so we don't the better bodybuilders and myself we don't go around convention like a flock of ducks you know what i'm saying all moving together and no 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 no. guess what candy b is my girl j baby is my girl lisa b is my girl jackie powell is my girl these are my these are my dogs but we all have different personalities and when we go to the convention we can we can powwow together we can spread apart do our thing and everybody is self-driven self-motivated it didn't start out that way this way they had self-doubt i had self-doubt there's plenty of days that i have wanted to quit them too it's natural it's a part of the process y'all it is a part of the process um y'all see me for five and seven and sometimes 20 minutes at a time you don't see my whole entire day and everything that comes our way the weight that i have on my shoulders some of my clients y'all everything is not about being snatched to the god some of my clients have really serious issues that y'all don't understand how blessed y'all are and i like what i do because it gives me the opportunity to help somebody i mean i've had four women within the last month come to me and say i want to get healthier so i can conceive and have a child this is not a game 
this is this is you treat people with respect. You you, you when you treat if you treat your clients with respect, guess what? When you get a team, you'll treat your team with respect. When in that entry phase of my business, when I when I said there were the casualties of war, right? The first few recruits, at that time, guess what? So were my clients. My clients were casualties of war too. I was like, I need to pay this bill. <laughs> and that was my focus. But now my focus is my client. What do they want? How can I help them? And, and, you know, do I talk to all a thousand of them all the time? No. Is it necessary? No. Um, would I like to talk to more of them? Yes. That's why I'm putting in systems in place so that I can be more present, even if I don't actually call them. But in an automated way, uh, I'm putting systems in place and the better bodybuilders will benefit from that. They already know what's about to go down in the 2020 because I didn't go to Boise, Idaho for nothing, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that scrape, okay? But yeah, this is not a game. This is a real legitimate business. I run my business like a business, and I want to empower others to really truly have this vehicle. Give them not just financial freedom, but time freedom too. This has been the best decision ever. And at times, it, it was pure hell, to be honest with you. Um, but most of that was just me having to face my own demons to be honest with you. Um, come on now, teamwork makes the dream work. It really does, y'all. Family does matter. It really does, y'all. I, I don't, And I don't like it when, I'm, uh, let me tell y'all something too. <laughs> I touched on this, but I gotta, I gotta, cause y'all don't be catching it sometimes. Join leaders that you can identify with. I am a mom. I am a mom who, Y'all see, I like to do wacky, quirky things with my son. I like to harass him, embarrass him. I like to love on him. I want to know what he's thinking. I want to know what he's feeling. I want to know his best friend's name. I want to know what happened every day. I can't join a leader. This is just me. If it's not you, it's not you. But just because a leader is a woman, I mean, you know, y'all know, I told y'all, that whole ovulation nation, girl power, okay, I don't care nothing. There's many types of women. All right. Some are trifling, some are nice, some are professional, some of this, some of that. But I have to join a mother who also wants to be present with her child, too. I can't. I, and, and I've never encouraged anybody on my team. And I hate it when people on my team have said things like, I'm going to shoot a video when the kids go to bed. Girl, no. Get your, y'all know I have, I shoot videos with Eho all the time. One time a soccer ball flew uh, past my head because he, he almost got me there. But I don't want mothers to come on my team and feel like they have to hide their kids. I don't want mothers to come on my team and feel like they can't spend time with their kids or they have to outsource parenting to somebody for their kids, to somebody else with their kids. They have to leave their kids somewhere and go build the dream. I'm building this dream for my kid. So I don't care nothing about nobody else, but for me, how can I not include my kid on the journey? It's not even an option for me. It's just not. And if Candy B, a single mom with special needs twins, is in the same boat, if, she, if she's with her kids all the time and she's still getting the business done, you mean to tell me you can't do it? Because a lot of y'all are joining leaders who have uh, um, their philosophies are not they're not you you cannot you, hmm a lot of y'all are joining leaders who built the business in a way that you cannot and you don't want to build the business and they let y'all know that from the from the outset but y'all weren't paying attention so you're you're a person more like me you want to spend time with your kids you want to be there for your kids but you join with somebody who's telling you like leave home and don't come back until um you know until you at least hit your goal and that's just not feasible for you. Why? Because baby got to eat. <laughs> baby got to eat. Baby got to do homework. Baby got to get a shower. And, and you got to take care of baby. But you, you know, and I'm not saying that somebody has to be exactly in your position, but just pay attention. Don't get so distracted by certain things that are meant to distract you. And realize that there's a season for everybody's business. You join somebody in the season where they have this huge team, but you want them to act like they're in the season when they're just starting out, and you want them to handhold you. It's not going to happen. 
You, or you join somebody, how about this? You, the, the total opposite end of the spectrum. You join somebody who's in the starting phase of their business and you piss because they don't know what to tell you to do. <laughs> but you join somebody who just joined yesterday or who clearly don't know what they're doing, but you did it as a favor. Now you're mad at them. Be mad at yourself. Let's take accountability. Let's be grown, right? All right, you have to deal with the mind first before trying to recruit someone. Ooh, yes, right. And I'm not saying that you have to wait till you're this perfect leader before you recruit because, again, if you join with the right team, you, you should have the support of your leadership. When somebody joins my, okay, Janine, let's take Janine, my girl Janine. I didn't shout you out, Janine. Janine is a superstar. Um, and, and, and y'all know what's so amazing about this? I've been in the business long enough that I have had people that, who, who, joined, who initially joined big leaders and then they went in active and then they came back and joined me. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Anywho, Janine recently joined my team. Does not have a lot of people. Um, Facebook friends, I think she had like 200. Do y'all know when Janine and I, and Janine is not my direct recruit. She's on my second level. But she still has access to me. Why? Because I care about everybody on my team, not just my direct recruits. Okay? So this is the reason why I do not train people who are not on my team. If you're not my student or, or a part of my team, I, I do not do one-on-one -on -one advice or anything with you because I owe it to the people who locked arms with me to give them any free time that I have. My first priority is my son. Outside of that are the people that, um, that, that, that believed in me enough to join me. Does that make sense? Anyway, going back to Janine, Janine's on my second level, did her Facebook Live. Do y'all know uh, Laura? Laura is a hoot. She cracks me up. Laura, <laughs> she joined Janine from that Facebook launch that Janine and I did together. So Janine, although she, only, she knew nothing about the business, she, because she has me to leverage, she leveraged my expertise, got her first recruit pretty much right after she joined. And then immediately what I did was I formed a chat with me, Janine, and Laura. And this is what I do for everybody who allows me to do it for them. As long as you plug in, I, I pour into you. You plug in and I pour out. You plug in and I pour out. That's how that works, right? It's a dance, okay? Um, so then I put me, Janine, and Laura in the chat. This is what I do every time somebody gets a new recruit. And then as Laura has questions, because remember, Janine is new, as she has questions, she, now she's in the WhatsApp group with all the team so that we all can bond as a family and everybody can share their wins, their highs, their lows, their losses, and everybody can be inspired, encouraged, admired, all that good stuff. But she's also in a separate chat with just me, her, and Janine. Why? Because as Laura has questions, I can address Laura's questions specifically. And Janine can see what I am saying to Laura. So she's serving kind of like in an apprenticeship mode. See, I hate it when leaders um, go directly to a person's recruit and they leave the other person out when that person is plugged in. Okay? All of this is, is, is dependent upon the person being plugged in. Why would I not put Janine in that chat so Janine can see what I'm saying to Laura so that the next time she has a recruit she knows what to do oh I remember Kim handled it like this and you put them in a chat you don't have a phone call because first of all ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> who wants to sit on the phone all day long second of all what can you duplicate if you call people on the phone you know that's a conversation that's just off into the wind but if you do it in a chat then Janine can always go back and say what did what did Kim say to Laura and Laura asked her this oh this is what she said and she can say the same thing it's a transcript you see what I'm saying it's a transcript so yeah um to do it's a mind thing low confidence is real so you don't have to be an expert if you are if you are attached to the right team you can leverage the people above you who have what you don't have who are strong where you are weak but if you are not you got some i got people some reps like when we go to these conferences that's when a lot of people get me <laughs> but i got some people and they'll say certain things and i'll be like well who's your upline they'll be like i don't know like their 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 sponsor is purposefully not telling them who their upline is in order to make them dependent only on that one person why in the world would you do that 
I let people know, listen, you got access to me. You got access to Carrie, Mr. Excitement, George out of the Bronx, New York, who is a wealth of information. Who He's the reason why, he's a large part of the reason why I started doing videos. I met him through videos. You got access to, you, your lineage includes Greg and Lanika Scott, a, a, a God-fearing Christian couple that has six daughters. Let, let me tell you who you connected to. I love to tell people who I'm connected to. Why are y'all joining people who don't tell y'all who, who you're connected to? So that you can tap into their power too. This is about life and death for some. Michelle, if you only knew what it was about for me last year when I went through my divorce, it would blow your doors off. It would blow your doors off. You were talking good again. This is good, Jared. <laughs> I only talk good. <laughs> Uh, my God, that's my life. Okay, I don't see when Cynthia Sparks um, typed that. I'm sorry, I got way behind on the comments, but I'm happy that it hit a nerve with you. Um, so, guys, this is going really, really long. I thank y'all for hanging in with me. It's a Friday night, but um, this was just, you know, how do, how do people say this was on my heart? But, no, seriously, I wanted to talk about this um, because... I do pretty much hang solo dolo. You know, y'all don't see me around a lot of people except for around conventions. Um, you don't see me around a lot of people because I like to protect my energy. And mostly because I'm with my son. And I don't have a lot of people around my son. But when I, if I could tell y'all, and I can't tell you all at one time, but in bits and pieces, I try my best to tell y'all what this business has done for me and how... Mm, I just can't even articulate it fully in words. You know, when my son knows the voice of David and Monique, when my son knows the voice of Reverend Ike, when he knows the voice of um, Jack Fallon, when he knows the voices of the leaders, the people who are pouring into me, when he knows the voice of Myron Golden, when my son knows the voice of Russell Brunson, when my son wants to come with me to Idaho to go to Offermind to see Steve Larson, boom! <laughs> Well, my son wants to come with me to New York to see the people that are in my company. And when the people in my company ask where my son is because he is, I can't do this business without him. It's not, this is business and this is personal. No, baby, my, my, my business is personal. And I've made my personal my business. That's how I work my business. With this little, he don't come over here. This is my baby. I'm, I'm doing this for my baby. I'm doing this for my baby. I'm going to do this with my baby. And if, you know, if you are somebody, and this is, if you are somebody who uh, doesn't want to join me because I don't have a mansion or I don't drive a Maserati, that's, that's cool. That is cool. And you have every right to do that. And there's nothing wrong with those things. I like nice things. Now. Don't get me twisted. Candy Bill will tell you. But it is cool. Everybody has a right to join who they want to join, do what they want to do. And I respect you for that. What I am saying is realize that if you join that, that comes with some other stuff that you might not want or you might not appreciate. So just under, understand this. Stop being so caught up in these big numbers that people post. Look like, like I always tell people, like, I loved being a part of David E. Monitier's organization because every single week there was a new person. And it's been many years since I've been a part of his, his organization. But do you know I still listen to him? We're in different companies, but I still listen to him. And there are people who followed him when I followed him, were a part of his team. But they've gone on. Years later, they're in different organizations, and they still look at him. And with respect, with love, with all of the um, admiration in the world, they, they, they speak highly of him. And I want to be a leader like he was. I want to be the type of leader that pours into a person incessantly, regardless of whether they are with me or not. For the long haul, that's the type of leader I want to be. That's the type of leader I look for. That's the type of leaders I join. And he has all those big, nice things. But more importantly than that, he has an understanding and a wisdom. And it's not wishy-washy. He's not one day he's holy and the next day he's a hot mess. He's congruent. And that's what I see. So you got to look at what you want and then join a person who you know you can follow, a, a person who you know you can duplicate, and a person who has shown you that they will be there for you. A person who has evidence, a person who has, I, like I always like to look and see who on that person's team is saying, I'm happy that they're my leader. I don't look at the lights and the follows and the, um, the social media stats and the flashy pictures. 
um, I don't look at that. I look at how many lives are they impacting to the degree that people are actually saying, I'm happy. I'm happy that I locked arms with you. When my team tells me some of the things that they tell me about me, I'm just like, wow. I'm definitely a different person, a different recruiter, different sponsor now than I was in 2015. And I'm thankful for the experience. I'm thankful for the journey. I'm thankful for all of my mistakes because they made me stronger. And so the 89 people, is it something that I'm proud of? Yes. But I look forward to, um, there's a lady named Boss Lee, Jessie Lee Ward. She's in another company. I don't, she's, she's awesome. But she, she talks about the fact that she has not personally recruited a lot of people at all. But she, the helpful is strong, y'all. Her team is strong and they go deep. They go deep. That's what I, I like to see a person who doesn't necessarily recruit a whole bunch of people. Okay? But they retain. They retain the majority. Mm. So I'll leave you guys with that. Um, I guess y'all like the video. That, that warms my heart. Um, if you're watching on YouTube and this is your first time, <laughs> I apologize because this was a little bit all over the place. And <laughs> you're probably like, what is going on with her? But um, so you said you'll wait. You'll wait. What, what do you mean you'll wait, um, Michelle? I don't know what you mean. Wait for what? Um, but yeah, hit that, res that big red subscribe button. Bang the bell to the right. Ding dong. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. And since Michelle didn't tell me what she's waiting for, I got to go. <laughs> you can inbox me, Michelle. All right. Bye, y'all. Good night.